Over the past decade, military forces across Europe have increasingly shifted from expensive and complex tracked armored vehicles to more cost-effective wheeled solutions. This trend is evident in the strategic decisions made by the Belgian and French armies. The Belgian army has entirely replaced combat tanks with wheeled vehicles, while the French army adopted the Giant Industries Vehicle Blind de Combat d'Infanterie VBCI, an 8x8 wheeled all-terrain modular infantry fighting vehicle IFV, to succeed its aging AMX 10P tracked IFVs from the late 1960s. The VBCI officially entered service with the French army in 2008, with plans to field several hundred units in two distinct model forms. The VBCI's roots trace back to the early 1990s when France initiated the Véhicule Blind Modulaire, Modular Armored Vehicle, program in search of a modern IFV solution. Although there was initial interest from Britain and Germany, the VBM project ultimately stalled by the decade's end. France then embarked on a new indigenous IFV project, culminating in the development of a four-axle, eight-wheeled armored fighting vehicle, AFV. Between 2003 and 2005, five pilot vehicles, including one command vehicle, CV, model, were tested, showcasing a sleek design and strong battlefield capabilities. However, delays related to the intended powered turret postponed the vehicle's introduction until 2008. Originally, the French army planned to order 700 units back in 2000, but this number was reduced to 550 base IFVs, VBCI, and 150 CV models, VPC, by the end of the development phase. The 35th Infantry Regiment, Belfort, was the first unit to be equipped with the VBCI. At one point, the British Army considered acquiring the VBCI for its own AFV requirements through a technology swap, but this plan ultimately fell through halting potential sales for both nations. The VBCI boasts a proven 8x8 wheeled military configuration. Its eight large real-time adjustable run-flat road wheels provide excellent ground clearance and balance enabling the vehicle to cross obstacles and ford water. The hull design features a well-sloped glassy plate at the front and a vertical rear wall, optimizing both protection and mobility. Power-assisted steering is available for the first two axles, enhancing maneuverability. The vehicle's layout places the driver at the front left, with the power pack to their right and the vehicle commander behind them. The gunner operates from the turret. The VBCI is powered by a Renault diesel engine producing 550 horsepower, enabling a maximum road speed of 62 miles per hour and an operational range of 470 miles. Its dimensions, 7.6 by 2.98 by 3 meters, allow for air transportation in aircraft like the Airbus A400M Atlas. A powered rear door lowers to function as an access ramp, and the interior features two rows of seating for up to nine combat-ready troops in addition to the crew. The VBCI is equipped to engage a variety of threats featuring the dragger turret atop its hull with 360-degree traversal. This turret houses a 25 by 137 mm M811 dual-feed cannon, using NATO standard shells, capable of firing at a rate of 400 rounds per minute. It is fully stabilized for accurate firing at range and is supplemented by a laser rangefinder and thermal imaging device. The one-man turret also includes an anti-infantry machine gun and smoke grenade dischargers for self-defense. The cannon is effective against light armored vehicles and provides heavy suppression fire against enemy infantry, while the coaxial machine gun further serves an anti-infantry role. In terms of armor, the VBCI offers protection against small arms fire, up to 14.5 mm, and shell splinters. Its hull is constructed from welded aluminum with titanium reinforcements in critical areas. Internal spall liners enhance crew protection, and the cabin floor is designed to withstand mine blasts. The base VBCI model, VCI, is manned by a crew of three, driver, commander, and gunner, and can carry nine additional troops. Its turret features the 25mm main gun and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The VPC model serves as a command vehicle, operated by a crew of two and accommodating seven specialists, while the simplified turret mounts a 12.7mm heavy machine gun. The VTT variant, designed for troop transport and export, has seating for 10 combat-ready troops. The VBCI has already demonstrated its combat effectiveness, notably participating in French military operations in Mali against extremist groups. Its blend of firepower, protection, and mobility makes it a valuable asset in modern warfare, representing a significant shift in armored vehicle strategy among European armies. The evolution from tracked to wheeled armored vehicles, exemplified by the French VBCI, reflects a broader trend in military modernization.
As forces prioritize cost-effectiveness and versatility, the VBCI serves as a prime example of how innovative design and technology can meet contemporary operational demands.